Do you agree with the minister when he said somehow we should ban foreign special interest groups who are undermining Canada's national economic interest? What, what do you make of that? Well, this is a Canadian decision. This is a decision that affects the interests well, of Canadian people, and we should keep it a Canadian process. And, and Canadian foreign interests in their deep pockets should not oh, be hijacking crap. that That's protest. A, other interveners, America's Exxon Mobil, Britain's BP, France's Total E&P, China's Sino-Canada, Petroleum Corp, Japan Oil, Canada Oil Sands Limited set the hearings. All of them are foreign, South Korean conglomerate Daewoo. So this is what I don't understand here. Look, I mean, it's, it's very simple. This is about foreign special interests and foreign groups and foreigners and the, the groups that they fund. This is about foreign interests trying to hijack a Canadian okay. process. Okay, I, I can't get an Canadian, answer. And this is about foreign interests and puppet groups who are hijacking the process. Uh, you know, uh, this is about foreign interests taking over Canadian well, decisions. Well, Let's talk right, about John that. Spring 2010, China's state-owned Sinopec buys a $4.65 billion piece of Syncrude. Later that year, China Investment Corp, run by the Communist Party of China, buys a $1.25 billion share of Penn West Petroleum. Chinese National Oil Corporation bought Opti Oil Canada last summer for $2.34 billion. In December, Daylight Energy Limited goes to Sinopec for $2.2 billion. And this month, as politicians blasted environmental groups, PetroChina buys a major project from Athabasca Oil Sands Corp. for $1.9 billion. And foreign special interests in their deep pockets, and foreign special interests in their deep pockets, and foreign special interests in their deep pockets.